Alrighty, so hopefully you have gone ahead to create your custom content and what we're going to do right now would be to create a custom page template that will be used to display the contents of our blog posts using a custom WordPress loop. So in other words, we're going to create our own version of the blog page where you would normally find uh, the contents of your WordPress posts. So first of all, before we do that, we need to make some slight adjustments to our current site, some slight adjustments to the design. Now you can see that all our content is bumped up to the sides of our screen and it basically looks really, really rough. So what we need to do right now would be to add some padding to our body tag. So to do that, let's bring in notepad. Let's go to our style.css template file, or rather our style.css file. And I'm going to add some padding to the body tag right here, padding of 10 pixels and 50 pixels. So what this will do would be to add spacing of 10 pixels to the top and bottom and then 50 pixels to the left and right. So let's save it. Let's go back in here and let's do a hard refresh. And now you can see we now have some padding at the top, left, right, and of course at the bottom as well. Now, if you refreshed and you didn't see any change, that means you have a caching issue. So please clear out your cache from both your web hosts if you're developing on a live site and also your web browser's cache as well. Let's also open up header and footer.php. Let's remove the custom function we wrote, the add underscore greeting function. Let's remove that. Let's do the same to our header.php. Backspace, save. Go back in here, refresh. And awesome, now we are good to go. So let's go ahead and create our custom page template, which would be used to output the contents of our blog post. Let's right click, create new file. And I am going to name this guy page-blog.php. Let's open it up. And of course we have to name this template file. So let's do that. Template name. And I'm going to call this custom blog. Asterix. Let's close it. Save. Let's go to the back end of our site. I'm going to create a new page and I'll name that page uh, content. Post content. <laughs> Post content for the title. And the template, of course, will be custom blog. So let's publish. Let's view the page. And there you go. So obviously it's empty because we have no code in our custom blog template file, but we have successfully created our page template. So now we can begin to add some code. And let's go ahead and of course add, first of all, the header and footer, get underscore header. And of course, the footer, every website needs a head and a, a every website needs head and feet. <laughs> head and feet, all right, get footer. Save. Let's go back in here. Let's refresh the page. And there you go. We now have our header and now we have our footer. And of course, we can now begin to add the contents for our WordPress posts. So I'm going to jump over to where we have the loop and I'm going to copy this code right here. The custom about the WordPress loop code. I'm going to copy it. Let's copy that. Now let's come in here right now. And in between the header and footer, I am going to paste the loop. Now, remember that whenever you're dealing with loops, you have to close them. When you open up a loop, you have to close the loop as well. So we need to close the while function and also the if functions as well. So to do that, I'm open up a new PHP tag, PHP and while semicolon and then end if. So this is how you would close the WordPress loop. If you don't close your loop, you're going to have you're basically going to crash your web page because your page will constantly keep on looping, looping, looping. There will not be an end to it. So you're basically crashing your site and your page. All right. So we've now opened up the loop and we've closed the loop. So now we can begin to tell WordPress what content we want to display specifically. What I'm going to do would be to output, first of all, the contents of the title. So let's use the template tag PHP, the underscore title. 
So if this works, we should see the titles of all our three posts, right? Let's wrap it up in an h1 tag. h1, so we can make the titles really big. h1, save. Now let's go back in here. Let's refresh the page. And uh-oh, all we have here is simply the title of our page. Where are the titles of our posts? Well, here's the thing. Never make the mistake of assuming that whenever WordPress sees this loop right here, this code for the loop, never think that WordPress thinks that, oh, this is for the WordPress posts. No. Because we have this loop inside of a custom page template, WordPress thinks that, oh, you simply want to display the title of this page and not our blog posts. If this was inside of our index.php or our single.php, WordPress would automat automatically recognize that, oh, you want to display the title of your blog posts. But because this is inside of a custom page template, WordPress doesn't think that way. Always remember that. Because this is inside of a custom page template, we need to tell WordPress that, hey, this loop right here is meant for our blog posts and not our page. So to do that, we need to create a custom WordPress loop. And we can do that using a very powerful function known as the WP underscore query function. This is a function with which you can customize how the WordPress loop works. You can tell WordPress to re retrieve the contents of your pages, retrieve the contents of your posts. You can tell WordPress to retrieve contents of posts that belong to a very specific category and so on and so forth. There is so much you can do using this very powerful function, all right? So what we're gonna do right now would be to create our custom loop, telling WordPress that, hey, retrieve the contents of our WordPress posts. Now to do that, watch this. Just above, let me expand this, just above our WordPress loop itself, I am going to create a variable called args. Let's actually open up our PHP tag. Or, be, or better still, let's do this. I am simply going to remove this closing tag right here, or right, I'll just bring it down. So we can still add PHP code inside, right? We don't have to open up new PHP tags. I'm going to create a new variable called args and I'm going to say equals an array. Now, whenever you are customizing your WordPress loop, you can add several parameters inside of an array. So inside of that array, we can say, okay, we're retrieving contents for our posts. These are the amount of posts we want to display. Uh, we want pagination to be used and so on and so forth. Don't worry, we'll explore this a lot more in the future. But what I'm gonna do right now would be to open up the array and then inside of this array, I am going to say that the post type that we want to call in this case is our WordPress posts. Okay, post. So right now we have created an array saying, hey, for this loop that's coming up, we want you to retrieve the contents of the post type known as post. Okay, so let's put a semicolon in here. And now I am going to say query, all right, query equals new WP underscore query. And then inside, I am going to pass the variable of args. Note that this is pretty much the standard way of creating custom WordPress queries, all right? Don't worry, again, we're going to explore this a lot more in the future, but for now, just take this as it is. We have created a custom query specifically for our WordPress posts. So now inside here where we have the actual loop itself, we now have to equate this variable known as query to the half posts, uh, if half posts, what half posts, and the post functions. So let me copy this and right in here, I'm going to paste and I'm going to equate that to half posts. The same in here as well. Let's put an arrow. 
and finally in here as well. Let's do the same. So right now, this custom query has basically taken the place of the post, half post, and then uh, half post in here as well. That's what we are currently calling right now. So let's go ahead and save this. Let's go to uh, post content, refresh the page. And now you can see we have our titles of our posts displaying because again, we have created a custom query for our WordPress posts. And we are now calling the title of each post using the template tag. If this sounds confusing, again, do not worry. We're going to explore this a lot more in the future so you'll understand better, all right? So now that we have our title, we can also display the featured image. And to do that, we're going to use another template tag known as the underscore post underscore thumbnail. So my colon, save, let's go back, refresh. And now we have our featured images. Let's go back in here. Let's add one more. And this one is going to be for the except the except save, go back in here, refresh. And now we have the accept of each post showing. So congratulations, you have created your very first custom WordPress query. We used the args, we created an array, we passed in the parameter of post type and equated it to post. And of course, we changed the custom WordPress loop right here so that the query, the new query we created is being called. We used three different tags, the title, post thumbnail and accept to display the contents of our blog posts. So again, I understand that this might be a bit confusing, especially, especially if you don't have any PHP experience. If you're having any trouble understanding what we've done right here, please reach out to me. I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. But for now, we have successfully created our very first custom our WordPress query. Join me in the next class where we'll write a second custom WordPress query. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you then.